Yeah, hey, good morning, and let's get you updated on exactly what we're looking at. We've got a live picture here from Chopper 2. You are looking at the intersection of uh, Ida B. Wells at Clark Street. You are looking eastbound, as I understand it, as I've pictured this. Uh, Mugo is going to be to the top right of the screen. We're going to have an update from her on exactly what's happened here momentarily. This was a shooting. It has that area shut down because of the investigation that's ongoing. This is a very busy area, as Aaron's been saying. Let me show you the shutdown so you'll know what you can avoid. Let me take you into the loop. Again, this is what used to be called Congress Parkway, but it was renamed, I believe, about three to six months ago to Ida B. Wells. My computer still has it as Congress Parkway, by the way, and there's Clark Street. So you're going to see the Chicago Stock Exchange building in the background when you see Amugo's live shot if she's in the same location. Clark Street is still closed from Van Buren to Harrison, and Ida B. Wells is still closed from Financial to Dearborn as they still evaluate exactly what happened uh, with this shooting. Uh, but again, this is going to really cause some backups as we get into the peak of the morning rush. Aaron. Rob, thank you very much. Now, as Rob was just talking about the closure on Ida B. Wells Drive in the loop all morning, and we have now learned that it was an attempted carjacking with an unexpected twist. We want to get right to CBS News, Mugo Odigwe, who's now live at the scene. Mugo, good morning. Good morning. It's been about three hours and police officers are still out here since that shooting. Take a look at the scene behind me here. You see uh, there's a police car and then two different cars right in the middle of the street. This is I Ida B. Wells Drive. You see those two cars there. Those are the cars involved in this carjacking. We got an update about the shooting at about 530. So here's what we know right now. Police say this was an attempted carjacking and the person who was shot and killed is a 22 year old man. Police say he apparently rear ended a man driving a BMW. When that man got out of his car to look at the damage, the carjacking suspect got in the man's BMW and demanded his keys. Police say the owner of the BMW, who is a concealed carry holder, then took out a gun and shot the supposed carjacker. The shooter, a 41 year old man, is now being questioned by police. And back out here live again, you can see uh, police officers here. You can see the two cars involved in this shooting. This street has been blocked off since about 3.15 when the shooting was first reported. So as Rob was saying, if you're heading down this way, there's going to be some issue getting out and about because it's blocked off at this point. We don't know when it's going to be open. So just keep that in mind if you're heading out this morning. Live in the loop, Mugu Odigwe, CBS 2 News.